Chat, I'm down to watch the process. Have you guys seen it yet? I have not. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? Mm -mm. All right, let's check it out. Hmm, interesting. It was the year of our Lord, 2011. The first time that I heard the name Scumpy. This victory, they worked so hard to get here. Everybody wants to be on optic, and it's been my like, it's been my my goal to get on the optic. Uh, he had to have known something about himself within himself uh, that he was going to go places. It changed everything. Like it changed, it changed esports. The curse has been broken. Oh, I'm on top of the world right now. Like... <laughs> After this whole year that we went through, I thought that I was going to. And we go to the land in the well. Jesus. Whatever you want to do, I'm behind you. Like, you, you paid your dues. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You've done everything that you wanted to do. He made sure that I was 100% serious and, and sure of the decision, because once, obviously, we did it, there was no going back. It was a shock. We know it was a shock. It was a shock to people that showed up to this house that but all these great players that have played, played for this organization have gone to get to this level. But there has to be a moment in which there's a torch that's passed, and I think it has happened. I'm a little nervous. Is that is that normal? I'm a little nervous? Yeah. Huh? Thank you for coming, everyone. That's what I saw. It's a, it's a good intro. <laughs> I was pretty much mentally done after losing Vanguard Champs. I was like ready to be done. I was telling a bunch of people I was done. I mean, I genuinely thought that this was my last year. Like just my mindset after this full year that we went through, I thought that I was gonna retire. I didn't have a good season on Vanguard up to my standards. So I was like really contemplating it because of that. And he was like, if you leave, yeah. then I leave. Yeah, I was just done. Face off the sure. us. We didn't really give ourselves a fair chance run it back one more year and see what we can do. So I, I just said this will be my last year, last dance. Thought I could stick it out. Um, then the team started having issues again. I mean, it was just, Mirage was following me specifically. We were supposed to do like a big doc uh, about the whole year and, you know, everything that came with it. Fucking no. Fucking no, fucking no. And then the first match of our year, we get forfeited and, but they're saying, they want a replay, which is absurd. Who the fuck are these guys? These guys, you get fucking 20k viewers. I'm literally in my nothing. own streak. What's up, bro? I'm in my own streak. After playing Florida in an online match, like, I thought that was my last match. And then we go to the, the land, get top 12, and I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, dude. Bro, we gotta start taking some fucking accountability, man. It's fucking pathetic, dude. This is fucking... And then I had to start running the tack because we picked up Kyler. Uh, I mean, I talked to Hector, uh, just kind of weighing the options of the team, what we can do. We just came to the conclusion this is the last match and then, you know, went out, played it. Yeah, and then Tony got pooped, huh? He's contemplated uh, retirement several times over the last two years and what it would do to his legacy, what, you know, from a competitive standpoint, obviously, like, the dude overthinks everything, and maybe that's why he became who he became, and that's why he, he is who he is. Um, but it's something that, the, that I've personally known over the last, like, two years. Like, this, this has been an ongoing conversation. And the more that the games didn't deliver as much as uh, previous games, the, the, the lack of improvement in the product, uh, it just, it just uh, took a toll on him. He had been telling us, it's se seemingly weekly, that this was his last day, his last weekend, his last match, his last tournament. Um, you know, he just didn't have any gas left in the tank, and then, uh, and then anything that happened, like to throw off, throw off his like mental, like it just multiplied. So, I mean, you think about the SA, you think thing that happened you, you think about the uh the, the inner workings of the team and all their oh i got an ad chris i got an ad i got an ad chris. and uh and then you think uh about v uh illy's visa issues i think that's just what set it all uh all over the top so yeah we went into that boston match knowing it was his last one nah, bro. Nah, let's fuck up. 
Let's get the shit, Kyle. Come on. Come on, Andy. See the baby. Come on, baby. Alright, there's fucking cons, baby. Good cons, yeah. good rows, good fucking very small talk to each other, man. Everything, man. You know the vibes. I think there's always some bit of uh, pressure, but it kind of goes away once I start playing with them and once I hop on the sticks. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You've all been waiting for it. Reddit has been ablaze. And let me tell you, whatever happens at the end of this series, Reddit may fill its britches once again. Let's get into this one chance to debut of Hook here on the Optic Texas roster. Side, 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 I'm with you, I'm with you. Nice, good fucking shit. Nice. Four push down, then. I'm with you. Nice, good shit. I'm not good, I'm not good. Oh, double that, big, big down minus. Yeah, B, come on, you tell him. Get it, I'm with you. Yo, baby, baby, baby. Last time. Last time. Last time. Last time. Oh my god, oh my god. He's frying people this year. The, the, the game met his play style pretty well. Let's get this shit up. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Last guy's catches, catches, catches. Even his first match playing that new role, I think he was running trophy. He was, uh, you know, he, he was able to pick apart that Boston team. And... Son of the map, if you can get the job done, his boys have certainly got the point. Get things going, massive win from Scum. That's huge. That first match against Boston definitely meant a lot to us just because everyone was roasting how, you know, I mean, everyone was basically saying we're not going to. We're not good at all. We're not competitors. All that good stuff. The B zone. Talk about a big one-on-one -on -one gunfight. Is Optic our clearing house now? Going to match. I just we did our thing. Just had pieced up. We all pieced up. Oh, no, how bad? How bad? Last guy. I'm blocking B zone. Oh, oh my, my fucking goodness. goodness! You are getting gone by Scum. Oh, oh my nice. fucking goodness! goodness. Nice. Holy shit! This got leaked on. Over now to the check-in desk and Illy Cha-Ching gets them both! Oh my god! I heard that. Oh, after that! Watch the middle, middle, nothing middle, nothing middle, baby. Piss on! Nice. Let's go! Jump in, jump in! Let's fucking go! Let's 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 go! let us go Zinni got pissed on five clips. <laughs> Damn. Uh, there was a good amount of pressure on me today just because uh, people people are holding me to a high standard. That was hard. That was fire. I had four days to practice with it. So I was a little bit nervous coming into today. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we ended up getting the win and uh, I ended up making some good plays. For the camera, how it's like I had to like so like like glitching the tarp. Like I was just like, bro, I don't know. These shots are like crazy. Yeah. Like foreshadowing what's happening, like you can see it on his face. And he yeah. just thought to himself, I'm like, man, you know, for, for over 13 years, I think, I have been competing and creating content, competing and creating content. The content creator, uh, you know, com competition side of it, like, it, it weighs on you, right? You're doing two jobs, uh, two full-time jobs, and, you know, for the last two years, his inability to stream the scrims and his inability to sort of share um, you know, sort of, sort of be able to create content around the competition side of esports. You know, it's, 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 it's a million, a million things that that went into this thing. But uh, I knew that this was going to be the the last year. Yeah. So that night after we won, I uh, went home and then I got a text from Hector saying, "Can I call you?" or like something, something like that. And then from I was, from there, I ended up calling him, and then he answered, and then he was basically saying like yo, what do you think about this? And then he explained the, the situation that was happening that Seth, uh, you know, wants to retire. And you, what do you think about bringing Brandon back on board? I think it was next day was when I talked to, or I went out to, I went out to lunch with Hector and we basically went through it. We were, he made sure that I was 100% serious and, and sure of the decision. Cause once obviously we did it, there was no going back. So we went out to lunch. And then we we went through a couple of ideas on how we want to announce it because it was obviously a quick turnaround. So then it's our job to figure out how to how to not only tell everyone else and hey, hey we got Tommy to Temper to chat. And, and to all the hey, I love you too, brother. I love you too, Tommy. We know it was gonna hey, show shock. Tommy Temper some love, man. It's my brother right there. Showed up to his house that night. What's up, Tommy? What's up, Go? He's a fucking legend right there, bro. Sir, man.
Thank you for the resub too, Tom. 65 months. Jesus, man. Oh my god, this is. Yo, 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 yo,
really stoked to get this video out fine. So there we have it, Optic Gaming are once again champions of EGL, this time again. Yes, I'm thinking the building because we are so blessed. Oh my God. Nine seconds left, oh. it's coming down the wire, and Fierce gets away. And they have position on it's so for us to win the first tournament of the year on Black Ops 2 while everything is sort of popping off. You know, 200 viewers went to 500 in a week and then 500 went to 1,500 in two weeks. And then all of a sudden, a few months later, we've got 12, 15,000 between me and Scump. So that was really where I felt like the floodgates opened up. So that first tournament win meant a lot for me as a competitor. And then it meant a lot for Scump, myself, Merc, Big Timer, Hector, all of Optic because that's when the dam broke and nothing was stopping uh, the force of uh, that wave and that momentum that we were building. At the time, uh, Nature and I were streaming out of my basement in my house. At the time, my wife and I were trying to figure out a way to, with our credit, to get a house for these this new team. That was happening. We wanted to do what other team houses were doing, but we were going to do it differently. We were going to make sure that it wasn't just a place for people to practice. Fuck that. Inside of the Optic Gaming 2013 team house, everybody's here now. We needed to create content that was gonna be consumed. We needed to be entertaining and we needed to facilitate the way that us living this, this, this outside of the norm life. So you're at 16, 20 what? 27. All right, three, two, one, go. That hadn't yet been proven. Holy shit, young I mean, this guy, I said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, it just made playing the game easy. Look at fucking Rami, bro. We were in a place where we were trying to get the Nah, the ads aren't that bad, Chad. They're not that bad. Fucked up rotations. Scump would just miraculously pop like a two-piece or three-piece on that rotation. If you can get that time at Break setups, we'd get into Hill, and we were a pretty damn good respawn team because of his slang ability. 189 to 176, the count against Scump is getting cross Jesus. back kills with the Scorpion. Scorpion. Yeah, so close to even more score shakes if he drops back, tries to fight for position at the next one. Oh, with that kill, he gets him anyway. Take it out, name was that one. He's not done just yet, trying to earn something more. See, then he gets it. Oh my, Scumpy! But as a person, Scump was just a, a goofy kid. I mean, he would just bullshit, you know, crack jokes. He wouldn't take anything seriously. Hey, Nate shot. That last trap was weak. <laughs> he was just fun to be around, especially in the downtime during scrims. It, it was just a lot of fun because he reminded me of somebody like myself. I mean, I'm only a couple years older than him, but it was just easy to get along because he was just trying to crack a joke at any opportunity he had. Do you ever miss me on the team? <laughs> Honestly, since you've left, it's really hard for me because I'm the comedic relief and whenever things aren't going right, it's only me and they're all just pissed off. So, <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying, bro. Me. We finally picked up our fourth for Optic Gaming for the remainder of 2015 and that is going to be Damon Karma Barlow. Come up, it's now fucked up. I mean, just like the whole 2017 year, like we, we had our like ups and downs as a team, but 2017 was like really grim up until the point where Damon won the 1v1, that kind of like really lit a spark. Is racing and karma. There he is! Oh, 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 oh. We went through a lot of shit, yeah, and really I think that's probably one of the most impressive things. We won, but we also lost, and we stuck together. We stuck together through some, through some shit. We can't sit there and not romanticize about the beauty of, of the moment, right? Or, or the beauty of his own personal ability to know what he wants and getting it every single time that he goes after it. He is just absolutely wrecking it right now. 45 and 20. Scuffy on! Scuffy on! Scuffy on! Scuffy on! Scuffy on! Scuffy on! I mean, the year 
I didn't know what to expect. I mean, we were running it back with the team. Honestly, high expectations. People expected a lot out of us. Things fell short. It happens. That's part of competing. Been on Optic for a majority of that time. And I've had the support of all of you in this house today. I couldn't thank you all enough. I mean, looking around, sorry. Looking around, it's, it's really hard for me um, just because I have had a crazy amount of support throughout my whole career, um, not only by fans, but by everyone here. So thank you. Uh, to all my old teammates, thank you. Uh, you guys really have molded me into the person that I am today. And it means a lot. I mean, I've learned so much through the, the bad decisions, the good decisions. It really has taught me a lot in my life. And this is just the booze while I'm crying. <laughs> uh, this organization has always been like family to me. I mean, Hector has cultivated that since day one. And I appreciate that. I've known a lot of y'all for a very long time. I mean, Ray winged me from the start. Literally made my career what it is. Um, yeah. Um, and I've continued to grow stronger and stronger along the way with the bumps, with everything again. Good decisions. Bad decisions, it's all added up to now. I've obviously never found myself in a situation like this. Um, I'm a little nervous and apprehensive for the future, but I'm also excited on top of that. Content's always been something that I've wanted to do personally. Um, with the CDL and how high things are something? nowadays, like, you know, like, it's hard nowadays to do content. So huh? So content oh on God. top of competing is, is really good. hard just because of how high the competition is. Um, Hear your entire room for a second. It's just hard, and it's something that I've always wanted to do, but... Thankfully, with the with the great team that I had, Ant being there, um, and the addition of Brandon back, I hope people are happy with the new roster at the very least. Uh, I think you guys are going to be absolutely disgusting. And after seeing Kyler and you as a sub duo with the pacing, it was kind of an easy decision. Like, I'm not I'm not like that. Like, I'm not fast like that anymore. Like these guys, they're just they're different, and it's it's a hard decision. Um, but bringing Brandon back made sense. Life's too short to hold grudges or be mad at each other. Stump was I hope still he uses this opportunity to be a good teammate. Thanks. And Brandon, I'm going to be on your ass. Please use this opportunity well because, again, I'm falling down so you can go up. And I hope that, you know, I hope that you use this right. To Ray, Ender, Kyler, Ant, obviously, JP, uh, all my past coaches, everybody. Uh, I mean, I'm going to be supporting you guys till the end. You guys know that. I'm going to be rooting for y'all. Um, that's easy. Uh, you guys like family to me again, so I hope you guys do, you know, I hope you guys fry. I really do. Uh, for the supporters that may be mad or upset at me and my decision, I'm sorry, but I promise I'll make it up. Um, I'll be attending events still and meeting people, which I really couldn't do being a player because obviously COVID. Um, so now I'm going to be obviously meeting people and we have other things in the works. Um, coming into the year, I was already on the fence about giving it another go. And I really thought that I could do it, but I overestimated my energy and that happens. And I hope that y'all can forgive me. But again, I hope y'all fry. The support I've been given with so many decisions in my career is astonishing. And I hope this is no different. Thank you guys for the years of memory, the good and the bad. And here's to another chapter of my life. Green wall for life, brick by brick, family. Damn. That's nice. That's nice. This is History of the World Part 2. Hook an ad Brooks right after this speech. Damn! Damn. Brooks is a part of this. Damn. Bro, Brooks. retirement talks, hearing brunch. other people say it, fucking you ready? doing Three, two, it. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. It's, it's never fucking easy, bro. You ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm at 2338. 3, 2, 1, go. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Thank you. Ooh. I didn't think I was Not gonna... a sad night. Turn that yeah, music on. Good. Let's you do make it this. Be sad, bro. You got me tearing up. You got me tearing up, bro. Hug, what a man. I didn't think I was gonna cry. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't worry. You made me cry. Oh, like, <laughs> like, I, uh, so... She was hard, bro. <sighs> but it's not a sad night. It's a happy night. New chapter in my life. So let's have some fun. That's oh, hard, man. bro. It's hard to do that stuff. That it sucks. is, bro. Nah, it's good. It's good. Thank you for everything, man.
And thank you for the future too. It's not done. It's not. I over. watch video, read it. Fucking even like this is any retirement, bro. Like it's, it's just hard not to we tear up, bro. It's so hard, bro. It's so hard, really, bro. Really happy. Right, I teared up writing a fucking tweet longer. For the yeah, I did time. too. I knew that right. at one point somebody was going to get engaged, and they were going to have a family, they were going to start their own house, and now this whole thing. Uh, so the retirement has always been in the back of my head. Obviously experiencing it now and, and, and hearing his <clears> words <throat> and how choked up he got. Like, man, I, I, uh, I, fought, I fought hard, but I am super happy. Because, uh, you know, there are tears of happiness for sure because this is a moment to be celebrated. This is in a, a sad moment. This is a happy moment because now he gets to, you know, he went out on his own, on his own, uh, like on his own merit. He wanted to do it and he knew what it was. And for someone to make that decision is super hard. So I respect his maturity and being able to do that. Ooh, that was not easy. Yeah, I know, I know how it feels. Like, especially with their scrim schedule, like, they gotta get up at like 10 every day. Like, he's been going downtown. Like, I can tell it's just gonna wear on you, but wear on me. But, um, I mean, it's crazy, man. It's like the retirement of a goat, best friend. It's, um, it's pretty insane. But, I mean, I look forward to the next chapter. I'm sure he'll be successful as well. So, yeah, I'll be around, I'll be around him. So, it should be, uh, should be an interesting journey. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say to the kid, honestly. He's been taking all the salary money. <laughs> bro, this is so fucking funny, bro. <laughs> Tell me you're proud of me and that you love me and that... That's nice. I've done all I've could. I am proud of you. I love you. Uh, people are going to be happy for you and people are also going to be really sad at the same time because I think a lot of people were looking forward to coming to see you play one last time. I'll still be there just not playing. Wow, okay. People love that. Shout out to Mama Scum. Mom, don't worry. You've never had to worry about me. <laughs> don't worry. Shout out to Kristen. We'll be good. Um, I said that tonight. I said, um, you know, maybe a lot of decisions that I haven't always agreed with um, first of all, the first one was um, going to Dallas in 2011, and look how that turned out. So, wait till tomorrow when you see the video. I was crying the whole time, giving my speech in front of <laughs> 30 of my great friends. They understood, Aunt understood, everyone understands. <clears throat> and now it's the next chapter. Just what do we do now? You smell good as a cut. And I already have very many ideas. <laughs> <laughs> That's Cody. It's LeBron James! <laughs> Kirk Nowitzki, bro. That's a roller coaster. Just, <laughs> obviously, getting benched and then um, getting back on the team, but at the expense of Seth retiring, it was so many emotions going through me. I mean, obviously, I played with Seth for, it felt like my whole career. I mean, I've been... I think this is like our fourth or fifth year together. Um, I mean, we started playing at the end of 2018 and um, there's a lot going through my head. I was excited to compete again, but I don't know, it, it felt, um, it felt a little weird, I'm not gonna lie, especially with uh, like the first couple of days scrimming, but I'm just glad that uh, we got past uh, or past all that and then hit the, the matches. Cause that was like kind of the only thing on my mind was how was the first match is gonna play out? Cause everything just felt different, new, um, but uh I was just glad to be competing again overall, to be honest, but happy it's all over now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have been asking, when does Optic play? Well, the answer is right now. And for the first time in a decade, they'll be without the King. Scump surprising us all with his announcement on Monday. I, I love watching COD to start with, and the, the initial watch parties were such a big, big hit. I'm not trying to check the boys I'm out, not, bro. I'm never, I'm never checking. Just know, I'm fry their shit. I'm Fry the fuck out of it, baby. Come on, man. I love this era shit. of Call of Duty begins today. An exciting one at that. And wow, man, I'm excited to see how this team goes. Chance, we've been talking about it to no end for so long now. And they're going up against a very, very tough opponent. Seattle Surge on the downward trend, but that doesn't make them any less dangerous. Let's find out how this one goes. 2v2, 25 seconds. You have to set yourself up for the defuse. Now they're on top of it. Anyone there to check it? Here for Seattle Surge. Illy's got eyes on. Over at Illy now. It does land the shot and accuracy. That could be it, Max. Nice! Let's go, baby. Illy's there. Let's see. 
Making top gunfight wins as well. Pred simply can't find them. Hey, no, so no, 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 here come Optic. Here come the hungry sharks. And that's it. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's fucking shit. I fucking love SCD. I fucking love SCD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are dumb right now. What a brilliant start for this new roster here in the CDL. Oh my goodness, Ultra. It's eight seconds they have to win every single gun by Shotzi pushes ahead and gets a number two. It's a sex drink for Shotzi. Oh, oh, come on, baby. Come on. Not right here, baby. Sir. Away, dive straight across. He's gonna come straight back out again, though. Huge. Got a challenge. Got a challenge. They have to challenge him as well. Scraps gonna be. Hey, bro, baby. Ender, you're the fucking best, baby. I got an ad. Uh, I got two of them. Men's Wait, warehouse well, believes you should love Matt the way you look. And Men's I warehouse, these balls in your mouth. You ready? The worst time too. You ready? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Hey, y'all better leave my man Brucey alone in the chat. That guy's fucking godlike. I hope he turns up next match. One, man, they're two, on his ass, bro. One, two, three, go. It happens go sometimes, bro. It happens. We're doing really good on rotations, and, you know, we're winning. Yeah, what life. the fuck? That was the clip. That was the clip. That was the clip. That was the clip. Yeah. I mean, this is ridiculous, man. What a potential, just insane way for these two the red teams beam. to end their sort of stage going into the, Not the red I mean, this is looking like no more perfection for Optic. The record breaker. Optic versus phase a classic oh God, Call absurd. of Duty matchup. Absurd. Close out the embassy search and destroy six rounds to one. Yeah. Not a not a good sign uh, when it comes down to this series. Is this one quickly going to be over or does Optic Texas have some light? Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. Let's hit a reset, bro. Let's hit a reset. Everybody hit a fucking reset, baby. Yeah, yeah. Fucking go. I remember um it was it was the last hill, it was the patio hill, and like I came out of the kitchen, they needed like three seconds to win, and then like I came out, I came out like screaming, like where is he on hill? Where is he on hill? Oh my god. This is crazy, this is so crazy. That was scary too. Off the start of our face start coming back. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go, baby! Oh no, he dropped his controller. Fuck this shit, dude. You guys are fucking 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 um, I'm definitely happy with it, but we're not content. We're not satisfied. We know that um, as soon as we start thinking like that, uh, it's obviously just going to come bite us in the ass. So we're obviously just keeping our heads down and still got a lot of work to put in. So we're excited for it. Let's get it, Big Boosie. Come on. It's Big Boosie, baby. Yeah, the Boston situation was, uh, you know, the traveling day was definitely insane. Um, we went there, um, everything seemed good. There was no like travel delays or nothing like that, so we are like, oh, bet. It was a record setter today, officially at DFW. 1.3 inches of sleep. He said, and your guys' Damn. flight is canceled. And I was like, what? So then from there, we're all tweaking. We're like, oh my God, holy fuck. Last time there was a, we were in a, a tornado. It's right now when we're in snow and shit. They wouldn't let me fly the flight. I just don't understand what the problem is. I, I can man that aircraft. Next thing you know, one of the planes that was already in the air had to come back for some fuel. They were like, first come, first serve. So yeah, we all had to make a line. We all luckily got on board, and then from there, we went to Boston. We did it. First class, though. Like, now we got 27B. <laughs> come on, bro. Like, uh, the games begin. Anticipating the main event. We had a flight canceled. Uh, with that being said, now we don't have luggage. Uh, well, we're going to go get some clothes. Make the best out of it. Bye, you me.
Yo. A lot of game. Pow, pow. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Be here on a $50 Delta stipend to buy underwear. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yo. A lot of game. Yo, that might be a play. I swear to God. These are a play. These, are these a play? Yeah. For sure. Nah, I'm getting fucking talked. I'm getting talked if I fucking wear those. How not? <laughs> like, like Yo, any this lotion. Is super, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not any one of us. I'll tell you that. Oh, oh my God. Bro, you look like you're, you, you look like you're parachuting. Yo, I spot a thing too. Yo, one's gas and then the rest are going to be front. I don't know. We were just like doing our thing, you know? We were just doing our thing. We are just going hard in uh, practice every day, just getting better. And, um, yeah, coming out with the first seed uh, was kind of typical out of us just because like we were like doing, dealing with a lot of things, but like we didn't really let that get in our way of uh, just playing and doing us. It was a good day of practice. Feel confident in the team's gameplay. Yeah, man, that's really it. It's time to lock in. Get it? <laughs> Jesus. Nerds. How's it going? Got I got an ad for you. CBD ad, bro. An ad? Okay. A three, two, one, go. So how are you feeling? You guys you guys play obviously later, you play the Thieves, how are you feeling? Uh feeling good. We played about six. Uh, I feel like our map pool is really good against them, so uh we're gonna come in swing it. Hello one and all and welcome to the Call of Duty League Major Two coming at you from Beantown alongside the Charles River. It's time for the Boston Breach Major live from the Fenway MGM Music Hall. With the Zero Trio in search and destroy, that has been their go-to. Has their hard point down a little bit better, right? I, you, more reps, the better. You're here at land. I'm sure they're, they're working on some things, you know, some fans at home. Looking at the hard points in this matchup, maybe not the, the happiest with the decisions, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I grow, that's uh, it's definitely my favorite map. You know, I'm Dory in the water and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'll be swimming in there. I, I probably have more swimming time than actual time of being on the on the ground of the map. No way. And uh, we needed uh, the whole God, map, bad. I believe, we're getting broken <laughs> on our setups. And then uh, we ended up getting an early road to P2 on Hydro. And uh, we basically needed um, we needed full 60 that, that hill to basically win. And if we didn't like hold, we were going to lose. And it does. Optic Texas in a massive spot, currently down 2 to 1. They've got plenty of bodies here, and if that's the case, it makes this next hold that much more important now for Optic. Yeah, yeah, you need to hold this right now if you are Optic, or the game is going to be over. The comms were just like, everyone Everyone knew it was like survival mode. Like, if it was, if, as soon as you die, like, that's it. You can't find the kill. Oh, Dashing in that's the that's combined for two. They hold down the first push. All of LA Thieves swanning out towards the front. And on boy to make the run. Have they spotted him? Do they know that he's going to be in a position like this? Puts in a few, rather puts in a bit of damage. Kenny trying to do some work himself. On. Boy pops on up. He's oh. on. And now Dashi begins to get comfortable. Optic in a wonderful position right now as the Thieves trying to break past that 50-yard line that comes down to this play. And Optic, they can win it off this hard point. They just have to hold the next push down and the map is going to be theirs. Hook at least finds the first kill. Oh. On to Octane. He's just finessing around with the knife. Clutching up, holding the full 60 um, to uh, make the comeback, and it was pretty, pretty dope. <laughs> Great for us. Hook finds a second, 3v2. LA Thieves have to clutch on up. Oh, and Ellie finds one himself. It's all on to Octane. Bro, Lando oh, sounds like Jack. I didn't even look in that. It was all on Dashi, man. The fact 
that he was a, a player that was dropped at the beginning of the stage, mm, comes back, by, and it takes over in game number five. Rank. Yeah, they were oh, up man, a lot. Guys, it. Yeah, Brandon was playing extremely well that series. Um, I mean, honestly, he plays really good every series, but that they specific just, one, um, they threw away I just search. remember him literally frying against them. I mean, this is something that... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can live without. You know what I mean. Competing yeah. is something that I just look forward to. Mama Bruce. Day, so I'm just grateful for another opportunity. Well, you're definitely. A we love Mama Brucey. We love Mama Brucey. Part of Call of Duty history. Mm -hmm. The crowd is cheering for you. Any last words you want to give to them in the organization? Uh, yeah, we love you guys. We're gonna try to get you guys a chip. Trust. They gonna try to get you all a chip. All right. That's gonna do it for me and Bruce. Chris, close us out. Don't make Mama cry already. Are they even doing fucking fries? Dude, that hey, yo! How do you feel the guy was doing this? He fucking dodged, bro. He went through the middle of the just Come on, man. How are you feeling? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Just fucking go, man. <laughs> man, those, my team, they're fucking goats, I will say. I didn't play my best, but honestly, like, I was still staying composed and trying my best to just make plays where I could, but they were in in their zone. I, I low-key overthought it for half a second and that's all I knew. Right. Fuck me. Yeah, yeah. I, when I hit him, I knew he was going to go to the door but not move. It's like... Dude, Inder, we knew that he was playing that tree spot. What tree spot? Well, the the tree snipe, and you almost pre sniped him, bro. You had a hit marker. Oh, yeah, I know, Dude, I know, I, I know. It was like we knew he played that shit too, and you pre sniped him. I got hit by Nate. They didn't mean to do that. No, they did. They were hard playing me. And then they stunned me. Wait, as but you've never done that in the break, though. I know, I don't know. They just read it. We're at Gordon Ramsay, and I actually just. <laughs> I just met Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> he was like, bro, you're hella nasty. I was like, I know. Uh, no, yeah, we're at Gordon Ramsay. I don't know what the fuck you get. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't even looked at the menu. Dude, that shit was literally the worst shit ever. Bro, the employee, the fucking rush. Hey, and tell me about that story last night. Yeah, so after you win your yeah. first match, you have a full day off on Friday. Um, what that day consists of is just basically you scrimming against the teams that are about to play on stage. Boston, though, make some noise right now because today it is gonna be fire. Uh, yeah, the Rocker series, we got 3 0 uh, I felt like one thing that we lacked for sure was just our our holds on rotation. As you can see, like we were rotating, but it was more like we weren't holding the correct stuff. After that match, we talked about you know making sure we are having the info of where they're trying to break from and all that good stuff. And obviously, we played against Boston, and you know it, it definitely showed that we were clamping up on our rotations heavy and we were making sure no one like got through or anything like that. So. All right, folks, one more left and only one team can go to championship Sunday now you guys have been cheering for both these squads really loudly but it's time to see where your true allegiance lies I mean the pop-off potential literally both sides of this stage these guys can absolutely fry it is gonna be so much fun we're on a fucking show showtime Showtime. <laughs> I remember it was P3, and then I remember like coming off of spawn, I, I was just like sprinting like towards hill, but like I was sprinting towards hill, like looking at my kill feed, just because like I knew like it was this gonna come crazy. back like Brandon. This is crazy. So I was just like running towards hill, just only looking at my kill feed, seeing like I was like hoping like Brandon uh, ended up uh, clutching up and killing Nero, and then I seen he ended up killing Vivid first, and I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, oh, he has to kill Vivid, and now he has to kill Nero as well. So I'm like, oh, like the odds of that are like, obviously like not that like high, just because like he has like one v two in hill. I see on the kill feed, Jackie kills Nero, and I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, I just knew he did something insane. <laughs> I don't 
thick. Your teammate pops those pieces and big moments, and you don't even see what he does, and you're just like, thank God. Yeah. You hear the, and you hear the crowd erupt. Best feeling, bro. I'm at 4405. I'm, I'm good. Whenever you guys are ready. Three, two, ready. one, go. Man, our chemistry is on point, boys. Oh. I gotta get on the phone, just keep going without me. Oh, my bad. It's really loud that's in my fucking, ear. That's so different. That's such a crazy yeah. mindset. Uh, American or Italian? I feel like oh, American. 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 Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we, we, we had Italian yesterday. Okay. Yo! She was so good. Oh, okay, we'll let him rock. <laughs> he had Italian I'm just yesterday. I'm more of trying to find places that Let's just stick to her, bro. Let's just stick to her. I mean, honestly, like the, the fact that we're moving on is like obviously the bigger picture. But the way we played, we could definitely be playing a lot better. So um, we're happy moving on, but we definitely got to pick up, got to pick up the gameplay a little bit for sure. No, no, LAT, we want to think it's gonna be a whole series again. I mean, it's always a banger against them, so we'll have to wait and see. Feeling good, man. Uh, First two days, I heard people like going crazy upstairs. I'm not sure if they were getting it down or what, what was happening, but uh, oh yeah, now I'm locked in. That shit hasn't happened the past two days, and I'm locked. Yeah, it definitely felt good being at a Sunday with the boys, uh, Zio plus Brandon. Um, you know, I, I can't remember the last time I was in a Sunday besides what major. I don't even know. It's, it's been a long time. I was definitely excited. And I feel like the thieves, for some reason, get a loser's bracket pub. When they go to the loser's bracket, it's like they love it down there. And the boys are going to have to come out. They're going to have to come out with some fucking passion today. Boston! It is time for our elimination finals, and we have to send one more team home to come to the stage. Uh, we go against LA Thieves, um, and we knew that it was going to be a really, really good matchup. Win it here, but Optic will keep pushing this. They will keep applying the squeeze. Pressure coming in from mid mouth. Illy will open things up. Shotzi will follow. Four seconds away. There's the slide. And there is game one. Optic Texas. Like, like I said before, they did just seem better. You know what? Every aspect of that map. The second map, we were up by like 4 2 or something like that. Can he get past him? Gets a few shots in as well now, but Illy will just play his life nice over and over again. Free fire. Good form. Good, good form. form. Optic Great Texas form. get another round on the board. And then we ended up, you know, choking that lead, and then from there. Dead to rights, it's all over. L.A. Thieves. They ended up winning the control, which we choked. I made a terrible play. I'll, I'll take that one on the chin. I should have never pushed out maps. Um, and it is done. It is dusted. It is over. And the control goes to Thieves. You can only learn from your mistakes, so definitely take that one on the chin. And then the HP, uh, it was a really, really good HP map. Optic Texas still in the driving seat, but Thieves are the ones getting points. What a roller coaster of emotions that really was. Draws out doing everything he can. He does not want to let Optic they show the this as well. Dash in the back. Just playing his life. Neither team can now win it. Right, Optic needs to win on the rest of his teammates, that. getting himself into a position. But he's gone for the child. You will find one. Where are the rest of Thieves? From there, Kyler just, you know, tried getting Hill. And then um, I think Andrew was saying, like, yo, I, I got through a trophy on Hill. But then he went to go look at his orange. And then that whole sequence of, like, the communication and, like, just being in the moment, Kyler just, I, I don't think he, he didn't look at it fully. He didn't, like, commit to watching the ladder. And then from there, the guy ladder killed uh, Kyler and then ended up Okay, Kenny, under. you like waited for the time to go red. But time is it wow. ticking. Map five is calling, but Kenny up the ladder, he'll find a kill on the hook. And boy, he's there play. for another. Yeah, Finds one at the same him. time as well. Three away. Three seconds, two seconds. Can we make the play there? And then Ray Thieves will move forward in this tournament again. Revenge is a dish best served in the main stage. And Optic are gone from major number two.
those other teams that are talking about. Damn. That was sad. That was sad. Uh, I think Heggy's on the phone, but I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Damn, did he tweet it? All right. I did not expect him to fucking tweet it. Jesus. This has to be the biggest opportunity in CDL history. I mean, it it might be. This is the first time that Optic is kind of taking a chance on, like, a new amateur player, up-and-coming player. This is the first time that we've ever done it. So I'm very interested to see how this ends up panning out. Just because, again, amateur players have been picked up and have been on, you know, other CDL teams and they've ended up working out or they've ended up not working out and we've seen some superstars molded by it. And if there was ever a time to, to sort of you know, change up the things that we do is, is, is in a moment of change, as it was with his retirement. I think that for the next year or, or two, we're gonna be in a building phase. Um, we, we have a very strong structure. Uh, you know, we, we, I, I love what, uh, what Hoop brings to the table, but you know, when, when you look at the pillars of, of what makes a steady uh, base, you, you have to take a look at people like, like uh, Big Timer and people uh, like Nateshot at the time, right? Which, which to me gave me um, a level of confidence to be able to try anything in the world and everything was gonna be okay because we had Big Timer and because we had Nateshot. And then when we added Scum to the equation and then when we added Formal to the equation, et cetera, like these moments happen per you know, periodically. And I've been in this thing so long. I've been in this thing for 14 years. I've lost for 14 years on our way to winning as much as we did, more than anybody else. And in a moment of change, in an opportunity, of a situation to be free with the ability to be like, you know, right now we're in a place where we might suffer losses here and there, but as long as we're building towards the future for what a five year span of dominance is gonna look like, uh, especially in a competitive space as it is right now, um, I think that it's, 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 it's in moments like that that you, you sort of, you know, see the bump in the road and you just speed up and take flight once you hit it. And uh, I think OC offered an opportunity for us to do something that we've never done before. And for real, for real, think about this, right? Who doesn't like an underdog story when the underdog is somebody who is actually very, very, very good at the game? And when I saw Ghosty, I told him, I'm excited to see what you do with this opportunity. Uh, and I didn't mean it like, we're optic, let's see what you do with this. Like, I really am curious as to what and who is going to be able to, to, to expand on what Seth has, has, has given us, on, to expand on what Krim, on what Formal, what Karma, what all these great players that have pray, played for this organization <laughs> have done to get it to this level. That there has to be a moment in which there's a torch that's passed, and I think it has happened, where, you know, with, with Dashi and his ability to be who he is, and then having Shotzi, somebody so young and so naturally gifted, to pair him with somebody else who is that and hungry on top of that, I'm excited. I am very excited. Dude, Shawston did a great job. Yeah, man, he did. He Shawston, Roger, all those guys, man. Matt Craig, no, Optic. Get that camera off. I retired eight days ago. I packed my apartment <laughs> up two days later. Drove home that night. Last night was Super Bowl Sunday. And now we're here. Day one. You excited? Very excited. Let's do it. <laughs> it's the hand that it should be a <laughs> pretty good weekend. There he is. <laughs> that was funny. Shout out to Tony, man. Shout out to Optic Methods. You know the vibe. That was a fire video. That was, bro. That was.